So, um, hi everyone. This is Abby, and um, I just came back from Ghana. I arrived in the United States on Tuesday, and um, I know a lot of people like have reached out to me asking me questions about everything they need to know going to Ghana because you know COVID happened things have changed and a lot of there has been a lot of um, changes so I just got here to, um, at work and I'm a little bit early so I decided to do this quick video about what you have to know before going to Ghana I got my passport I'm going to skip that part uh, you get your passport of course then I got my um, visa I, my trip was soon after so I think the president had the um, nation the, uh, the address I was I was so skeptical about not needing a COVID test so I still did my COVID test. You know, right from CMH, they were only big on my COVID vaccination card. I um, Delta because I use Delta, I I could not upload my COVID vaccination, and it's very it's very simple when you're using Delta Airlines because they have the app and they have the Delta Fly Ready. It takes you through everything that you need. So please, 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 if you're going to Ghana and you're flying with Delta, please use the app because I didn't have to look for, um, go through a whole lot of things. I, I just went on the app and they gave me the Delta fly ready, kind of gave me everything I just uploaded. But my issue was I had changed my name last year. So when I went to Delta, I just gave them my COVID vaccination card and told them that there has been an illegal name change. So the name on the passport is different from the name on the COVID vaccination card. The lady said, okay, she looked at it. She looked, she looked at my date of birth. She looked at everything. And I was like, do you need the proof of legal name change? And she said, no. So do not get anxious if you've had a name change if the name on your uh, your covid vaccination card is different from the name on your passport i just need to tell someone because i was looking for information about that and i couldn't get it i just wanted to hear someone kind of calm me down and tell me that abby it's fine but i couldn't get it so i think it's very important to know you're welcome all right then we got to Ghana smooth and nice no COVID test needed they did not ask me for that but like I said I, I had already done it because I didn't want nothing to come between the strip it's been 20 years I just wanted to go home so going through immigration smooth everything went smoothly I got out they did what their checks and everything was right remember to write down you know, they'll give you a form for your immigration form fill it out when i got to customs though this guy did not was trying not to let wanted me to open my bags like open all my luggages because he had a problem with the fact that i had too many luggages he first of all asked me if i had um any no he first of all asked me if i had laptop and i said yes i yes. had and he said are they new or old and i said new and as soon as i said new he said you have to pay um tax on it so put it down bring it out you have to pay tax on it do you have any cell phone i said i had just these two cell phones that i'm holding he said okay that is fine and it's like madam please open i need you to un unlock all your um your locks and open it Op I, I will have to go through all your stuff and i was like why do we have to go through all my stuff again and he said i have to go through it because there are too many 
So I was like, okay, luggage is how, then he, then he was like, how long have you been? When was the last time you came to this country? And I said, 10 years ago. That is why I have this many stuff. Apparently, um, they said it's a thing because some people travel and buy stuff and come to sell them and they don't declare it. So now, if they see that you have a lot of luggages, they assume that you went, you, you went and bought stuff and you come to sell it. So now, he ended up not letting me open my luggages back. That is something that we, um, you have to be mindful of. So, not paying in a nutshell, I just wanted to do this video so that anyone going to Ghana will just have this. You truly, truly, from the United States to Ghana, you do not need your COVID test. When you're coming back, it's a different game. I'll do a video on that. But um, thank you for subscribing if you've subscribed to this channel. And if you've not subscribed, kindly, please, please. I beg you in the name of Jesus, please subscribe and turn on your notifications and also um, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, please um, feel free to send me any um, questions, any inquiries. So thank you and keep watching. I have more videos to post. But I decided to do this quick video because um, I know a lot of people are going and people want to know the process and how everything was at the airport here and stay tuned for more videos come back come back subscribe subscribe thank you bye